So the Flash movie just came out, and so far people that I've talked to have said that the movie was okay, and it was alright. Anyways, um, what is going on guys? My name is Savion Hamilton, welcome back to another video of my thoughts and review, where I'm going to talk about giving you my predictions, like a little bit of spoiler for the Flash movie. So obviously a lot of people I've talked to have all claimed that the Flash movie was pretty decent and everything, so... Like I said, I have not seen this movie. This is just my predictions, like a little what I think is going to happen, how everything is going to change, and what is the future of DC, of the DCEU and everything. Because, you know, as James Gunn has said that the Snyderverse characters are all officially done, so he's going to do a big reboot. He's going to recast Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, mostly all popular DC characters, which sucks. But we're going to talk about the Flash movie, which I'm I'm definitely excited about because I'm watching it tomorrow on my birthday. So I definitely can't wait to check it out. So let's talk about the Flash. So the Flash movie is going to be about Barry Allen going back in time and saving his mom. Just like the Flashpoint comic book and the Flashpoint animated movie, which if you have not watched it, go watch the animated movie. It was really good and the comic. They actually did a really good job. I love the Flashpoint animated movie. It's actually was really, really good movie. So I recommend you guys to check it out. Now, a lot of people I've talked to have seen the movie. They said that the movie was okay, but there's a big special ending, which I've read reports a few weeks ago that George Clooney will sadly be in the cameo, which sucks, because George Clooney is not my favorite draft man. He's a terrible Batman, and how can you have... George Clooney come back. Now, if you didn't notice, a few months ago, uh, Grace Rudolph, Grace, the reporter, on went on Twitter and said that source that confirmed that one of these four bats, one of these three Batman would appear in the Flash movie. The first one would be Val Kilmer, Christian Bell, or George Clooney. Now, I obviously count out, I counted out Val Kilmer because Val Kilmer is not in good physical condition at the moment. So I really could not see him coming back, even if he was to make a small cameo. It's still, he just, he doesn't look in good shape. And he has a little thing in his throat where he talks, his little voice thingy to talk. So I don't think it would be a good idea to have him come back as Batman. Uh, Christian Bell has stated that he does not like the supernatural stuff, like aliens and all that stuff. He said that his Batman is more about realism and everything, so obviously Kristen Bell will not be in, so obviously that would be counted out. And he, he's always said that if he was to come back, he only wants to do his Batman. Nobody else, no multiverse, because he's not really a fan of the multiverse version of Batman. Like, he believes that his Batman needs to stay in realism and everything. So Kristen Bell would be out. The only person I see Green doing that is George Clooney. And maybe the reports are saying that the rumors were saying that he's going to appear in like a little small cameo as Bruce Wayne. I thought this Bruce Wayne was pretty good. This is Batman was freaking terrible. And that's why I said it's not a good idea to bring him in. Now, obviously, Michael Keaton, 1989's Batman, is going to be in the movie, which you've seen the trailer. He, he's been active as Batman for nearly 30 years, so you got a 30-year active Batman. Uh, reports have said that he doesn't really go into details why he gave up being Batman. Like, the movie follows right after Batman Returns, which half came out 30 years ago. So, reports were coming out were saying that that Bell, that uh, Batman retired either by his breakup with Catwoman or that Gotham became so peaceful that he doesn't need the Batman. Because remember, Key and Batman kills. He kills in this universe. Christian Bell, I mean, uh, Michael Keaton's Batman kills all of his rope. He killed, he killed the Joker. He killed uh, Penguin. And yeah, this is Batman kills. Like, well. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna say kill. He, he killed. He technically already killed Penguin. This Batman kills, and Michael Keaton is concerned that he said in interviews like, "Why it doesn't make sense for our Batman to keep people alive? Like these guys are psychopaths. He should not. These criminals should not be able to live." But again, it's gonna be really interesting. I saw the costume. 
I think the costume looks pretty cool. It reminds me it's a mixture of the 89 and, and the 92 bat suit, which is really cool. I think the suit looks pretty good. I don't really like the utility belt. I think it's, he should have kept the great, the, the yellow utility belt, but other than that, yeah. The battle belt is going to be in the movie, which looks pretty dope and everything, so I definitely can't wait to see how that goes. But anyways, um, oh yeah, Ben Affleck, he is Batman, is going to be in the movie. He's only going to have like about a 10 minute scene cameo. Uh, ben Affleck I'm playing, confirmed that his scenes are not as long as he hoped they would be. So his scenes are only going to be about maybe 5 to 10 minute scene. And obviously you've seen the trailer where he's in Central, Tri Central City helping Barry. I think it's either Barry, he's either helping Barry's dad out with a case, helping Barry free his dad from the case, or maybe he's doing like a type of investigation or something like that where we're about a human and all that. Like I said, they don't really show much of the trailer. Again, I have not seen the movie, so please don't come and say, oh, you're wrong. These are my predictions. And sometimes my predictions have been right, sometimes they've been wrong. So, yeah. Uh, so, got Ben Affleck, like Batman, so they're going to team up, and they're going to take down the villain, and then, of course, uh, Barry's going to learn, hey, I can go back in time and save my mom. And he's going to talk to Batman. Think about, like, how Arrow, Oliver, and Barry have that mentor. Like, Oliver was basically the mentor figure toward Barry. That's what they're going to do with... That's what the relationship between Ezra Miller's Batman... I um, mean, Ezra Miller's Flash and Ben Affleck's Batman. They have more like the, um... Uh, Green Arrow and... Fl well, not... Well... Uh, yeah, I would say, but more like Batman's like the mentor figure. But anyway, Barry confronts... Uh, Batman confronts Barry. And Batman and Barry's going to say, you know, what if I go back in time and save my mom from getting killed? And Arrow's and Miller and Ben Affleck Batman is gonna say, Look, it's not a good idea. Leave how things how they are, because if you go back, you're gonna change things and things are gonna be different. And of course Barry goes, Well, I'm not gonna listen to you, old man. I'm gonna go back and save my mom. So he goes back in time, saves his mom, and basically the world is differently. A lot of characters, characters' deaths have all changed. So, of course, Henry Cavill, Superman, who was supposed to have a cameo, his scene got cut. Uh, Gal Gadot, who was supposed to have a cameo. Which, if you read the Flashpoint comments, you would know that both Aquaman and Wonder Woman have a big Atlantean war over the Themyscarians and Atlantis, because they fight over the death of, um, of Aquaman's wife. But, again... I'm glad Amber Heard is not in this movie, so of course, good thing they did not bring her in this movie. Uh, we see General Zod has came back. Apparently, and the flash point is that when Kara, when Kara and Kyle escaped Krypton, apparently, uh, General Zod caught Baby Kent, Baby Clark Kent, and kills him. And that's how Kara became the last Kryptonian. And, um, yeah, it's been really interesting to see how that goes. Like I said, ben, uh, Henry Cavill's scenes have all been cut. Well, like we'll probably get like a little reference of Superman and Wonder Woman. But like I said, their scenes were they were originally going to be in the movie. Uh, Ray Fisher was going to be in the movie too as Cyborg. He was going to have a major role, but due to allegations and the investigation, um, his scene he's been officially cut off from the Flash. Which kind of sucks because I'm like, well, this is the Flash, and Cyborg actually does play. Oh, <laughs> anyway, Cyborg does play a big role in the last point, so obviously it sucks. But um, yeah, uh, I think what's gonna happen is, oh yeah, and long hair Barry. You also have two Barry. You have long hair Barry and um, our Barry. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they do this. Punch! I love this game so much. I also think that uh, Batman and Supergirl are going to die and long hair Barry die. Because if you've seen the trailer, you see that Kara is carrying Barry, long hair Barry. So I think long hair Barry dies. He's going to die. And I think uh, Keaton's Batman is going to die fighting. And then Barry's going to have to go back in time again to prevent everybody, prevent uh, this Batman from being killed. Like, for go back in time and um, change everybody's future. By doing that, he's messed up timeline, because I think what's going to happen is, is that at the end, and this is how the George Clooney stuff comes in, I think Batman, uh, Barry's going to talk with, J with Aquaman, and then they're going to talk about Batman, and Aquaman's probably going to be like, well, 
Batman's actually on his way. You can talk to him right now, and you're going to expect to see Ben Affleck's Batman come. But nope, you're going to see George Clooney and say, Hi, Barry, I'm Bruce Wayne. Hey, Barry. And Ezra's going to give that look face like, What? This is not my Batman. And I guarantee you that the theater is going to boo because nobody likes George Clooney Batman. And that's how I think it's going to end, and I think that it's going to end the Snyderverse, so the Snyderverse is going to end, and people, they're going to do a big reboot. Now, as for the Ezra Miller stuff, I've said in the past, honestly, if it was me, I think he should be locked up right now. That's just me. But of course, this is Hollywood, so Hollywood people can commit crimes and get away with it and all that stuff, which I totally disagree with. Of course, they didn't want to cancel this movie because they felt like this movie was going to be more like Spider-Man No Way Home. The only difference is that, yeah, you got Michael Keaton coming back, but you don't have, like, you're bringing these characters that nobody cares about. And I had people tell me, well, this is going to beat the flat. Can it beat Spider-Man No Way Home? It could. But do I see it happening? No, because I don't think people care about Supergirl. And I'm not going to lie to you, I'm not a fan of Supergirl's look. I like Supergirl blonde hair. Supergirl, in my opinion, is supposed to be a blonde. Just like how she is in the comics and the video games. And the show. And all that. But do I think this movie can beat Spider-Man No Way Home? Because Spider-Man No Way Home... And I'm not really a Marvel guy, but I like Spider-Man. Spider-Man is, is my favorite Marvel guy. But you can't... Can he beat it? I think he could if you I think he can, but I doubt it because Spider-Man Way Home had all they gave what the fans wanted. Fans have badly wanted to see a multiverse with Toby McGuire, Andrew Garfield, and Tom Holland, the three popular Spider-Man. And it bought them nearly a billion dollars. And they didn't even announce everything. That's the funny part. They didn't even announce that these characters were gonna be in the movie. Fans predicted it and reports have came out saying that they were going to be in the movie. Now, if this movie, and so far from what I've read, it's not really doing good in box office. That's what I've been hearing. But I've been avoiding spoilers because I don't want to be spoiled because I'm going to go watch it Thursday, uh, tomorrow night on my birthday with my bros, and I'm going to review Friday and give my full thoughts of the Flash movie. And all. But like I said, um, that's all I got to say about the Flash movie. It's going to be interesting how it goes. Like I said, this is just my thoughts and predictions of why things are going to die and how can they like how this is going to change the most, the new the DC uh, the DCU. Because like I said, uh, they are they are uh, James Gunn is doing a reboot. He wants younger actors to last for ten years, just like the MCU. And I disagree with that because I honestly wanted to see how the Snyderverse, how the Snyderverse was going to end because people want to see the Snyderverse. They want to see Justice League 2 and 3. But as far as I know, I think Ben Affleck, he's done as playing Batman. Henry Cavill is done playing Superman. And Gal Gadot is done playing as Wonder Woman. And again, you know, it sucks. But hopefully this movie, Ben Affleck has said that this movie felt like a perfect ending to his character. And I'm very curious to see how that goes. So, like I said, tomorrow is my birthday, and I'm going to watch this movie, and I can't wait to do a review on it. And I, 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 I'm going to say this. I think this movie is going to be pretty good. I think it's going to be really cool. It's going to be cool to see Keaton again and see how he's spent the last 30 years. Like, like I said, Michael Keaton, he was originally supposed to be Batman forever, but he left the script out there. Warner Brothers fired. Uh... Tim Burton, and he said, look, the script sucks, because, and they all, and the, and the script sucks, saying that the script sucks, and that's why he walked off the set. They even offered him a million dollar, a big million dollar contract for him to stay, and he still said, nope, I am not coming back, because this script is gar, this script is garbage. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, that completes my prediction video of the Flash movie, Flash spoiler for the prediction of Ryan. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be doing, tomorrow I'm watching the movie, and then Friday night I will be doing a review on the movie to give you my all, my all-time thoughts and everything. So anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys on another video on my Flash review. God bless, and take care. Bye.